ancestors. We all have them. And the energy of them remain inside us. So sometimes when we work through things, we cannot place where it came from or, or why we feel that way. And a lot of it is just simply, you know, the energy through our generational um, lines, our bloodlines, and we still carry it. So, you know, there may be things that you get triggered by that you don't know why, you know, it makes no sense that you'd be triggered by that certain thing. But when you go back to the people that came before you, the bloodline before you, it could be something that happened to them. When we go through the womb, we, you know, we, we carry our mum's vibration, our mum's frequencies. So there's a lot of stuff that we can carry through her that is hers and her mum and her mum and her mum and their dads, their dads, their dads, everybody. So our ancestors want to step forward today and give us guidance and love and support. And I cannot wait to see what comes through for you. So know that this is a general reading. This is not a one-on-one -on -one reading, but if you are interested in one-on-ones, click down on my description below to my services, my retreats, my workshops and all those things. But for now, let's tune in to image one, two or three and see what your ancestors have for you today. image number one image number one you know i sit with the image and i feel into it and i know there's so much wisdom here um and your ancestors are here to remind you that you are the oh wise one aren't you you know uh, it feels as though you've got like the little one-liners <laughs> The one liner is that you can just sort of drop the bomb of the one liner and walk away and, and leave that person sort of in contemplation or thinking about their actions or what they've just said or what they've just done. Um, and, and you get your point across very strategically. A bit of a sniper at times, <laughs> as in you come in and walk away. Now, you're very much a truth seeker too, they're telling me. They're showing me that you're very much a truth seeker and you won't stand for bullshit. And this is something that you've always known, you've always felt, um, but they're certainly coming through to give you more strength to be able to stand in your power a little bit more because there's things you can see other people cannot. There is truths that are just blatant in your face, but other people are just blindly getting on with their lives. And this is really something you're struggling with the most at the moment. I know that you're hearing, my ear starts ringing. I know that you're hearing a lot and you're ascending. Um, your ancestors are here to say that they're literally carrying you at the moment, that through this transition, this up level, this upgrade. So be mindful of your dreams, definitely your dreams, because they are very much contacting you through, you know, your state when you're in the astral realm they they come on in and you know because when we're in the dream state we're more susceptible to receiving so really take heed take heed i've never said that before of your dreams and notice the synchronicities in them and also realize i don't want you to think too hard about it you know, sometimes we can dream something that's really like warped and we go, oh God, and, and we really think hard. I don't want you to do that. I almost want you to just observe it and notice it and let it drop in, okay? So there's subtle hints through your dreams. There's subtle hints through spirit connection. You will be receiving, receiving that if you aren't already. Let's get some cards for you, love. Now... When I look at your line, your family line, there has been relationships that have withstood everything against it, basically. 
I feel like in your in your bloodline, there's been a lot of people that have fought for love. So whether it be, you know, people running away to be with someone that was against the family morals or values or religion or whatever it might be. And there's a little bit of that going on in your energy. And this doesn't necessarily have to be with you, but it's definitely with those that have come before you. <sighs> Love rules, you see. Love rules, it always does. But in for you here and now, the message is whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. There's no need to chase anymore. And I can feel the urgency and the and the desperation of you wanting, you wanting, you yearning for something more, something better. And I know your ancestors are coming close saying, that's okay, that desperation and that needy energy is just the energy of them living inside you and it's time that you forgive that energy and release it. Because what's next for you is divine. What's next for you is divinely timed. And the patience is something that really needs to come through for you at the moment being patient and knowing that there's some cords that need to be cut. I will pop a link in the description of a beautiful Doreen Virtue cord cutting meditation that I like to share with a lot of people and do myself because there's aspects that you're carrying that aren't yours, but you're owning them, energies, um, thought patterns, almost like you're taking responsibility for things that have happened to those that have come before you, like they're yours. And everything is love with you. You're very strong empath. You're very emotional. You lead by your heart. And it's a beautiful place to be, but sometimes we need to protect ourselves and be a little bit more cautious. So I want you to almost be a bit more cautious with where you throw your love. Something I've never said before in my life. But with you, my darling, it feels as though you love so big that it you can easily get addicted to things that you love to the point where it becomes overbearing for everybody involved. And so you'd be at the point now that you're either in this needy energy or you've just literally switched it off and you're numb. I don't feel like there's a balance here with your heart space. I don't feel like that. But remembering that your ancestors are here to help you break these cycles right here, right now. And by doing some cord cutting, releasing those that have hurt you before and also stuff you're carrying that's not even yours, that you wouldn't even recognise as yours, but you're carrying it like it is. Your ancestors are thanking you for taking that burden, but also saying it's time to release it. Time to detach, time to let it go. It's like you do these cord cutting meditations and visualize, see how there's this beautiful dove. It's like you can have this meditation as you cut those cords, see, see it leaving, see it leaving, see it detaching, see it moving on so that you can now become whole. It's very important for you to do this process and it could simply just be you know at night time as you go to sleep do this meditation I think it's only 10 minutes um, because every time you'll visit this meditation you'll go to some different aspect of your life and then you might even find that you'll be detaching things that it's like a distant memory or like something you watched in a movie and it's not even yours but you're owning it and it's time to let that go because you, my darling, your ancestors are here to say that they truly love you and they're very grateful. And a lot of the times it's up to us light workers to do the work, to break those patterns of those that came before us. And what that does is breaks the patterns for those that come after us. So in our healing, they heal. And you've stepped up for this job. You just have, it's just in your soul contract. And you're ready for it now. So when we take away the ego and bring in the love, you'll then realize that you are enough and there's no need to chase anymore and there's no need to shut down. And you've got some work to do to cut those cords, 
call in your ancestors and say thank you for watching me holding me and being close and that my darling is your reading for number one okay messages from your ancestors number two this is a beautiful uh stopwatch right time stop when i sit with this energy i just feel so much gratitude so much gratitude for those that came before us and i know that there's so much that's happened to you and i know that your ancestors are here to say that you've been through a lot my darling a lot and it feels as though those that you have trusted in the past haven't given you what you need you haven't been supported and there's a part of your inner child that needs a lot of love and play and it's time that you let yourself play and it's almost like i want to bring through and this is a general reading remember that but i want to bring through like silly jokes that grandparents said you know um older generations come through with a really silly dad jokes type of thing could be your dad even and i want you to remember them and i want you to start saying them that's what they're showing me because it's just silly humor silly humor where you roll your eyes and then just sort of chuckle now we get the rest and reconsider card because you've been in an energy of really um I don't know if you're trying to prove yourself, um, but there's frustration here. There's frustration here. And it's almost like you can put your tools down now and just stop for a moment because I know that when your ancestors come through now, it's all about knowing that you don't have to repeat what they've done. You actually don't have to repeat it because there's an aspect here where you know how badly uh you don't want to be your parents right <laughs> or your grandparents or what they went through it might be that you know you, your grandparents had a situation where they were bankrupt or um they lost their house or you know they, they divorced or, or something that's really heavy and you're carrying that energy so you don't want to create it yet there's something about it that you're creating because you don't want it so much. Now you're very powerful, so be very careful with what you're fearing, so to speak. And remember, I'm an EFT practitioner and there is um, tapping videos here on my YouTube channel that we can release for you. Um, and what we focus on, that's where our energy flows, right? Where our attention goes, our energy flows. And your ancestors are here today to say, be mindful of what you're focusing on because there is some, a lot of power here. And because they've gone through the hard yards, you don't have to you're allowed it's almost like you've got to give yourself permission to live the good life you know give yourself a break from everything that they've been through because you're almost uh carrying it as well this is a little bit similar to the first reading actually um so you may very well have been tossing up between one and two but your ancestors are here to say leave what they went through with them and you start creating what you wish to create now. See how I said that this is similar to the first reading? Out of all these cards, right? I can just keep shuffling and pulling, we get to touch again. So you're almost taking ownership. Now this is not deliberate in any means, right? But you're getting good at this. You've actually been practicing. You're practicing um, not taking on other people's stuff as if it's yours. Um, I'm gonna get another deck. I'm being called to, no, purple, excuse me. Um, now, I also know that there's something going on with you at the moment where you may have some words that you don't wish to speak. It's almost like a secret that needs to come out. And it may not very well be your secret, but it's certainly somebody's. Um, but it's all, whether it's a confession for some of you or a secret of somebody that you've just found out that needs to be aired. Um, <laughs> now, 
why I laugh is because this is uh, the next one, number three. The time, right? You went for the clock, but now I've got the hourglass and the hourglass is the image for number three. So these are all very connected, these readings. And I haven't even recorded number three yet. So I don't even know what your ancestors want to say for that one. But I do know that there's an aspect to the truth coming out. There is truth. And if you don't know what this means, it will be something that you will find out. It will be something that may um, shock you, but you won't be surprised. Uh, and it's a family truth that needs to come out for, yeah, a family truth that needs to come out. So it's something that's happened in the family line and it doesn't necessarily need to be your family, but it's certainly family is the key. Now, once you realize what this is or once you release this secret or whatever it may be, and when I say release this secret, it's not like dobbing on people. It's almost like releasing it from your mind, body and soul to forgive it. You're going to make space then for forgiveness and in forgiveness comes compassion and in compassion comes healing. And there needs to be an aspect of it coming out of your body. And in that it could be just writing it down and burning it in, you know, we've got full moons every month, right? That's about release and forgiveness. And that's what, oh, hello. Okay, and this card almost jumped at me and we've got financial and material changes. So it may very well be around finances, this secret. It may very well be around objects, you know, um, material material things. But it also could be that, um, you know, when the secret comes out, it, it makes sense around the finances or it makes sense whether it be a will or, or, or a, um, a marriage or deceit, that type of thing. And it, it doesn't have to be a bad secret, but it's certainly something that someone's holding close that is of value to them for other people not to know about it because there's a little bit of guilt going on around this one. It doesn't necessarily have to be guilt, but that's just the way they're feeling, right? You know how sometimes you might have a secret that you don't want people to know because they might feel this and you might feel judged and the minute you share it, people go, okay, and it's no big deal, but to you it is or to them it is. So whoever secret this is, they've been holding it close for a reason. The the release of this, the exposure of the truth is going to be the biggest healing. I want to say a hit of healing um, that hasn't occurred for some time. So again, your ancestors are coming through to say it's time. The divine time is now. And just to finish, we get... <laughs> need my glasses. I'm going further and back and back. Uh, learning. So it's all living and learning, right? Um, I also see the vision here of a small child. So whether or not this is about a child or it's going to affect children or it's from a childhood, um, but there's definitely that innocence and that inner child time to play type of vibration. And that's what this message is. Your ancestors are here to say time to play, time to release from the shackles of um, the darkness of secrets and who are we trying to protect um, and is it the judging so it's a bit of time for analysis to try and work out why that is now this reading may very well be a little bit too specific to fit but take some time with it because there will be parts of this that will resonate with you but I would be interested to know some feedback and how, how you go with this but know that your ancestors are here saying that they will be protecting you throughout and it's time to release, to love, to heal and you're supported and loved by them. And that is your reading for number two. Okay, so number three, the hourglass. Tick, tick, tick. You know, the first thing I see is the Wizard of Oz and, you know, how Dorothy's in that scene and the witch gives her the big time glass and says, you know, that's when, I don't know, when I guess you're going to, I don't know, why is the time glass there? Is that when she was going to kill Toto or something? <laughs> I can't remember. But I know that time glasses sometimes bring pressure because you can see it, tick, 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 tick. But, you know, your ancestors are here to say time is of the essence. Your ancestors are here to say it is time, divine timing for you, my beautiful. Because life is fleeting, right? So I know that if we were to write a bucket list, 
Oop, a card just fell, cannot ignore it. If we were to write a bucket list right now, um, you would be able to dream pretty big. Um, and your ancestors are here to say do that because we've got the love card straight away. And everything that revolves around love is meant for you now. The frequency that's happening with you from your ancestors, they're just bringing you so much love and healing at the moment. It is next level. So you know when you might be driving along and then all of a sudden you just feel very grateful for where you are in your life. I, um, Your ancestors are showing me that. So if you haven't already felt this, you will, because it's just like a realization where you just go, oh my God, things could be worse. Really? I'm pretty blessed. You know, we've got this, 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 and this. Um, but ultimately we've got love. So, you know, I was talking to my children the other day and they were saying something about, oh, we're not rich. And I said, hell yes, we are. Maybe not financially, but you know, we've got our health, we've got our love, we've got each other. So your ancestors are here to say, have a real good think about what you already have because the chase of getting something else is not serving you. You're missing the boat as in if you live in a house, a tiny house that might, you know, not be ideal because uh, you want more space or whatever and you're saying things like, oh, this house is bloody tiny, I've got to get a bigger one or I don't have any space for my things or, you know, the bloody door's falling off or whatever, whatever you might be saying that's not going to attract bigger and better that's going to keep you there so when you go around that small little house and you say things like oh this beautiful house has kept kept us safe i'm very grateful for this warm cozy house you will then make room for more love and abundance and start creating opportunities to maybe you know um even renovate that home or you know, find an opportunity where you can rent it out and find something else or buy something else or rent something out. Well, who cares what it is, but it will be bigger and it will up-level you. And that's what's happening at the moment. Your ancestors are coming in with this real loving, vibing energy for you uh, to feel those bursts of gratitude for what you already have. Because you're the manifester, right? You get the manifest card because when you're in that frequency of gratefulness, the attitude of gratitude. That's where you build more and more. Now, this may very well sound like a reading that you've had from me in the past. Um, and if it is, then keep going with this. If it isn't, then it's time. It's divine time for you to up level. Now, in order to do that, you've got to be grateful for what you already have, but truly feel it, like sit in that small house of yours. Or, you know, you might not even have a house. You might be renting and you think that, you know, you want to buy. Well, have a look at what's going on with our mortgages at the moment. It might not, you know, you might very well be in a really great position just to be renting and realizing that, oh yeah, lucky we didn't buy until blah, 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 you know? Um, and that's just an example. And again, this is a very general reading, but you are in an energy of really manifesting at the moment, a big energy of it. So be very mindful of what you are telling yourself. You're the master. The next card I pull for you is the master. Now, this is all love energy, all love energy. Now, you have been protecting your emotions. You have been protecting your heart. Um, because you're scared to fail. You're scared to get it wrong. And again, your ancestors are coming through to say, it's okay to unleash that love of yours. I'm even wearing a green t-shirt. Look at that. Love. <laughs> um, and green is very important to you. Nature is very important to you. So, you know, spend some time in nature, uh, wear green clothes, eat green foods. Um, green is very important for you, uh, your, your attitude of gratitude and just building from where you are at the moment okay i want to get another deck i'm getting an orange deck okay i just love it when i go orange in my in my head i hear and um this is where i'm at so let's see where else are we at here <laughs> earth and ground so nature green sit in it you can uh grounding is very important and really honoring the earth okay um now you know, it's the land, uh, and this might be for a small percentage of you, but I'm getting a vision here. They're showing me of some property of those that came before us that you still are on or you still honour. Um, so, you know, straight away I get my grandparents on their farm in Sylvan, 
Victoria. Um, now that is, uh, you know, someone else owns that now, but occasionally I'll drive past and I'll smile because I can feel the vibration of them and, and the, the love and, and that type of thing. And it helps me connect. Now in saying that, and <laughs> I, I won't sit by their grave, because I don't find that where my happy memories are and I feel that that's just more of a structural place where they are, but I know they're everywhere. But I take myself to places where I can connect with how blessed I was and grateful I was that I had them. So be very mindful of what you're sitting in. So is it sitting by a grave? If that if that's your thing and that makes you feel close to them, great. But are you feeling the love and the vibration there or are you feeling the sorrow and the loss? So really connect because they're always around you and your ancestors are coming in today to say, please listen, we are talking and you're not exactly getting the right message. You are hearing them, you are connecting, but keep your mind out of it and feel into them and enable to do that. It's that energy and that vibration of knowing that they're there and knowing that they're there for your highest good. And they're really communicating well with you at the moment, actually. So I'd love to hear, feel free to comment below and let me know what it is that you're receiving from your ancestors at the moment, because they are here and they're saying thank you for um, receiving them. But there is still a little tweaks that you might want to realize that it's your mind and not them. I actually teach um, mediumship classes also. Um, and I also have an online intuition course. So that might give you a few skills because you are opening up to receiving with spirit next level. And the two cards that just fell out are progress and alternative. So these two little gorgeous cards, they just flung at me. So I know that you're you're progressing with the way you, you receive these messages. You're actually opening up really beautifully. Now, we're all born with our innate wisdom to connect with spirit. Um, as we get older, we either forget about it, we get busy, life happens, or even our parents. I know one of my uh, friends and colleagues' parents took her to psychologists when she was young because she was hearing voices, yet she's one of the best mediums I absolutely know. Um, so there's that progress that you're allowing yourself to open to receive. Now, the next card is alternative. Now, not so much the word um, that stands out to me, but the, the number 40 and the picture, I know that this, what this is saying to me is that you're now at an age where you're not worrying too much about what other people think and being judged. And that's giving you the wisdom and that's giving you the strength to go, you know what? Maybe I do hear spirit. Maybe I do connect with spirit. And you're absolutely owning it rather than feeling like, oh, they might think I'm crazy and this, that's like, you know what? Who cares? You're the one that's got spirit with you. And that's what your ancestors are saying. It's time to connect. They're here. They love you. They want you. And you are safe. So keep being that attitude of gratitude, realizing where you're at, really realizing um, the energy that you deserve and you will create more. And that is your message, divine timing for number three. Thank you very much for tuning in, my beautifuls. Stay well. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all those algorithm things. It helps me with my channel and I'll know exactly what to bring to you. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope to see you soon. Take care, be kind to others, but especially be kind to yourself. Peace out.